Today, baseball fans across the country and around the world remembered Willie Mays. Here's a look at reaction from some baseball fans. The electrifying Say Hey Kid, whose combination of talent, drive, and exuberance made him one of baseball's greatest and most beloved players, including those here in Chattanooga, passed away yesterday. Local 3 Xavier Harris reports the Tennessee Valley was just one of Mays' stops as he went on to play professional baseball. It was on this field in Ingle Stadium here in Chattanooga where Willie Mays got his professional start. He played for the Chattanooga Choo Choo's in 1948 and went on to make history. And it's a history that many folks say will never be forgotten. Of course, Willie Mays was the first to reach 600 home runs in the major leagues. And that's just one of his many accomplishments. Mays played in 23 major league seasons, spending most of that time with the New York Giants and the San Francisco Giants, but not before spending some time right here in the scenic city in the late 1940s at Ingle Stadium. He also played uh, out at Lincoln Park uh, for a minute. At one time, Lincoln Park was the, uh, the only park that African Americans could attend. After spending two summers with the Chattanooga Choo Choo's Negro Minor League team, Mays went on to join the Negro American League for the Birmingham Black Barons, which is where many fans received the news of his death. Willie Mays, one of the greatest players in the history of our game, has passed away at the age of 93. Since then, several city leaders, athletes, and fans like John McCoon began to show their respect, honor, and share memories with one of baseball's greatest players. My mom took me, I was about 10 years old, and um, we sat on top of the first base dugout, and I had Willie May's card and a baseball with me, and he signed his card for me, and we had one of these. <laughs> McCoon says growing up, he played center field to be like Mays. He says he still remembers game one of the 1954 World Series, his over the shoulder catch. It was incredible. You know, I, um, being a center fielder myself, thought, hey, this is never seen anything like it. <laughs> that one catch went down in history as one of the game's most memorable catches in the World Series. People talk about uh, the catch, and I don't understand why, because I did many things other than just, you know, catch a ball. But when you find something like that in the World Series, they had to pick a highlight, and they picked, uh, I guess, that one for the highlight. Another highlight was playing his first Major League game just four years after Jackie Robinson broke baseball color barrier, which is something Elijah Cameron, director of community relations for the Bessie Smith Culture Center, says helped carry the torch for future black baseball players and athletes. The kids coming up today can look back and see what happened with him and be able to say, hey, if he could do it in those days, I can do it in today's time. For his accomplishments in 2015, former President Barack Obama awarded Mays with the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I told him then what I'll tell all of you now. It's because of giants like Willie that someone like me could even think about running for president. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Xavier Harris, Local 3 News.